It's very important before you depave uh, to understand exactly what kind of soil that you have. Clay soils can be really detrimental to infiltration of stormwater and, uh, and other moisture. And in fact, if you have too much of a clay in your soil, it could actually preclude you from really doing an effective depave. Um, or you'd have to take advanced measures in order to ensure proper drainage. So one thing that we do uh, before we start depaving is to do a simple soil infiltration test. There are a number of different ways to do these. Uh, you'll see online probably that there are pit tests that you can do where you dig a large pit out and fill it with water. There's also this can test that I'm about to show you. Um, they're all, they all work uh, very similarly and they're all based on this theory of basically trying to get soil saturated to begin with, with water. And then once that soil is saturated, adding additional water to see how much it absorbs over time. You're basically trying to recreate a storm water condition where uh, the water, the soil is already saturated and uh, you want to see if it's going to continue to absorb more moisture. Uh, obviously you can imagine that if you have a deep paved area and it's pretty clay, uh, it's going to hit that and just like how the clay was used on the Erie Canal to line it, it's going to hold that moisture there and it's not going to allow it to drop. So. The way we do one of these soil infiltration tests is you take a large coffee can, or in this case, a garbanzo bean can, whatever you can find, and find a place of soil that is nearby where you plan to depave. The closer the better, so that you can ensure you're in the same soil type area. And uh, in this case, we have a cleared out space. You wanna make sure that all that grass, or most of it, is pulled away because grass or other plants are gonna uh, affect basically your, your readings here. So you're gonna take that can, you're gonna utilize a, uh, actually a tape measure, and you're gonna go inside and you're gonna measure up from the bottom. So I'm gonna turn it like this, pull the tape measure out, fix it to the bottom here. Measuring up, we're going to take a mark, and we're gonna mark it at three inches from the bottom. And then we're also going to mark up four inches from the bottom so that in effect, we've got two lines that are about an inch apart. It doesn't have to be exact exact, but you wanna have about an inch, inch apart here. So then once we've got that, we can set it here. A two by four is gonna be helpful or some other piece of lumber, something that you can use to distribute the weight across your can because you're gonna be pounding the can into the soil a little bit. What we're basically trying to do is we're creating kind of a channelized area uh, where the water can just shoot out to the sides. So it definitely has to infiltrate directly down into the soil. So with this two by four and a mallet or a hammer, we're gonna go ahead and pound this thing in. And we're gonna knock it in until we hit that first three inch mark. So at this point, we've knocked it in three inches. We've got the mark above here that's an inch above. And we're going to go ahead and add water to it. Uh, you can do that with a water bottle, a water pitcher, or in this case, a hose that we have nearby. Uh, be careful not to use a hose attachment because you don't want to obliterate the soil with a pressure. Uh, we're just gonna turn it on slightly, get a little bit of a trickle going, and we're gonna pour it up until we hit that four inch mark. All right, so we filled it up to the four inch mark, this right here, and we're gonna go ahead and let that soak in. Uh, the hope is that it will take uh, under an hour, and once we've done that, uh, it should all be soaked in. We'll come back in an hour and then we would add more. And at that point, you wanna start timing it. If you fall within uh, 15 minutes or less of it draining in, that means you probably have pretty sandy or at least uh, a well-draining soil. So you have no problems. Deep paving should absolutely work for you. If it takes uh, above 30 minutes, uh, that definitely means you have some clay in your soil and it's gonna be slowing that rate of infiltration. So you do wanna be careful. Uh, you may want to consider utilizing uh, three quarter minus and things like that underneath areas, forming almost like a French drain. So you create a layer of drainage. Um, and if it's taking more than an hour after the second pass of filling it with water, if it takes more than an hour to drain, that means you have some serious clay on your hands and deep paving may not be a good option for that area.